Right then, hi everyone, time for some more Isaac. A um, bit more than usual this weekend. Like I previously said, I'm going to try and make some significant progress before the expansion comes out. Um, so let's get these guys. Excellent. Not quite in range. And bingo. See what this does. Bombs are keys, okay. Halo of flies. Oh, halo! Um, take these ones out. Excellent. The fool, what does the fool do? It's teleport, I think. I think it teleports you to the starting area. So we took a hit there. Not so great. Um, potentially get five coins over here. If that's what we choose to spend our bomb on. But I think I think the actual secret room is going to be here. So we'll try that. It is indeed. And we've got seven coins. So we got more than five. So that was... That was a better option. That looks like all we can do for the time being. So we'll move on. Let's see what else we've got. Duke flies. Okay. Well, there's quite a lot of rocks in this particular occasion. This rock in particular, right by me, is not in a great place. Neither is that one. So I kind of want a freedom to get in close and hit him, but he's kind of covered. And obviously, I have to avoid these flies as well. I'm down to about halfway. These flies seem a lot bigger. Is just because he's a boss or what? I have unlocked that at some point that these bigger flies now exist. I think I saw some bigger ones somewhere else as well. Uh, might just be me though. He doesn't seem to be a special variant of Duke of Flies. Oh, so I don't know what the big flies are all about, but anyway. Sorted him out. Oh, let's finish off this swarm. Oh, that's a bit of a waste of half a heart, but it's the last room anyway, so... Oh, we got hit again, so that's that's okay. We can use the full one. Speed up. Next level. What we got now? Oh, let me, let me know if you guys want to see the little clips in between levels. Um... I kind of just automatically skip them nowadays as I feel like I've seen most of them and I think that is within this series as well in the earlier episodes I think I did tend to show them so I think we've kind of covered most of them so um, I always figure it saves time and when the exp I'm not sure I've forgotten actually if he said there's going to be more of those or not when the expansion comes out. Obviously, they're not that important for gameplay, so there might not be. Um, but it's a possibility. I remember reading him mention it somewhere, but I've forgotten what Edmund actually said. If he said there would be or wouldn't be more of them. Oh, run. Move out of the way of that. The other thing we're doing more of these at the weekend is because Minecraft Daily isn't at the weekend and hopefully it's kind of, I might just upload a bunch of them, record and upload a bunch of them and then it's not like interfering as such with Minecraft Daily. Um, for, for the Minecraft Dailies next week will still be quite close together. 
for anyone looking through my list of videos. Um, so that's the devil. I can, however, make show playlists as well now. So there's a bit of work to go back and add all the episodes into the same thing. Um, but I might get round to that and then if anyone takes... If anyone really kicks up a fuss, they can always just subscribe to individual shows and it'll give me a lot more freedom to put out whatever I want and you can just subscribe to the bits that you want. Um, that's partly, I'll tell you guys, as you kind of more hardcore viewers who watch all the Isaac videos, um, that new show option is because I've joined the game station. So the logo and stuff isn't up on my channel page just yet, but um, all the contracts are signed and I'm like switched over onto their system and everything. So it's um, not going to affect any of my shows in any way, but it's just good news for me in terms of like technical support and stuff. And obviously, like I just said, I can set up shows rather than just playlists and things like that. So it's all really cool from my point of view. And um, hopefully will mean some improvements and stuff. Um, although I can't ex exactly say what those will be. But, um, but just general, more behind the scenes support and possibilities and stuff. So... Um, devil. What's through here? Uh, more coins. Um, right, so that's the secret room anyway, so we still haven't got a key. I can't even look in the... Oh, maybe I should have, I should have blown aside in the secret room to see if there was any keys on sale. Oh well. So we'll take out Larry Jr. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I'm going to make like an official video announcement about the game station or not. My original intention was I was, but then I realised it doesn't really affect my content or the viewers at all. It's more exciting from my point of view because it makes my life a lot easier um, behind the scenes and stuff. But um, for you guys, it's not really going to change anything. Um, so... That's why I haven't like officially announced it just yet, if at all. But I thought I'd just mention it there because it was relevant to the fact I can now make individual shows. Um, so especially if like if I could do lots of different games almost, if I have time, we'll see. But it means if if I did start doing lots of different games you could subscribe to and you weren't interested in some of them you could subscribe to the games that you were interested in and um, and then you wouldn't have you know all the other game videos in your inbox subscriptions box or whatever so oh here's a key so I think we'll, oh we've mm, now we've got a decision haven't we because I think I'll save it for the moment I've got a chest there as well but get one more coin and it's worth going in the shop but it's also we've only got one coin so it's a shop or the special item and the special items free obviously the shop might have keys for sale, but if we've got 15, we'll probably want to buy whatever items for sale. Now we've got two keys, so that's perfect. That's what I was hoping for. So if we get one more key, we can... Um... Oh, it's teleport, is it? Interesting. 
Um, so we'll save that for a minute. Um, so if we get one more key, we could open that chest as well. Just what I was saying, one more key. We'll save it for a minute though, just to see what's in the other rooms. There might be even more chests. Um, although it would, wouldn't really make much difference. Don't know how we choose between them. But we'll clear the map anyway and get a chest on the way back kind of thing. So I don't think we need any more help that extra items could get for us. So I've got some coins and the bomb. Um, mind you. Now we've got some more coins, we'll go to the shop. So another. So magician is tracking shots. Devil is more damage. So I'm gonna hold on to devil for the moment. Oh, there's like a crown of thorns. I don't know what that does. Is it more damage, maybe? Let's find out anyway. Yeah, more damage. Cool. So... Um, oh. It's quite a big sneaky meat. Packing quite a punch there. Oh, took a hit. Did I have a blue? I must have had a blue heart that I've lost. Health up. Nice. That now means that we can't get into the arena. We could have got into the arena and then my health went up. Which means I'm not now at... I'm now not at full health. <laughs> That's quite ridiculous. Um, oh well. That's where it goes. Oh, this damage is quite good. How many bars does it say I have? As we know, as many of my viewers keep telling me. And I'm starting to feel like myself. I can't entirely trust those bars. Um, gluttony. Firing his barely laser. It's all about the belly lasers in this game. Oh. Gotcha. So that's healed us up. Which I guess means we could go and do the arena. We could teleport out as well. Oh, we don't have any keys to open that. Okay, let's try this teleport, see where it takes us. It's just taking us somewhere we know. It's hoping it might take us to a secret room. So we'll try this wall. Nope. And let's try this wall over here. There we go. Unicorn, do we want unicorn instead? I think we do. I do like the unicorn horn. So let's go take on the boss and go get some tea. Okay. My tea's quite low actually. I should have made a new mug before I started filming. So it's a <laughs> troubling development in the drama of the video. My tea is low. No. So I might not actually need the unicorn horn if it's um, is this one Gerdy? I forget Gerdy. Um. Oh, it's an annoying shooty fly shooting at me. Dare you? Right. I could get that half heart, but I'll stay in my camping spot for the moment. So we know it owns Gurdy up. I wonder if this will be changed in the um, in the expansion and make force me to 
So I'm sure it's not the intention of the design that you're able to defeat Gurdy that way. I'm sure you're meant to run around stopping those and dodging them and stuff. Um, or at least get hit a bit if you just stand over to the side. Okay, so that's another health container. Very good. Caves number two. Let's see what we've got over here. I think these are all explosive, aren't they? Oh, why is it coming? Mm, straight at me. That's not fair. Okay, that's one. Another one hitting me in the corner. Oh, I was just thinking I don't want it to blow up near me. A bit late. Took quite a few hits. I've lost two hearts. Oh, to end up what spikes as well. Oh my goodness. Right, where's this one gonna go? Nope, 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 nope. Um. Oh man. Do with a bit more range, I think. Bad workman. Aims his tools. Ow. Oh my god. I'm lucky to be alive. Oh my goodness. Right, well, we still have the unicorn horns, so... Oh, my goodness. Don't hit the spikes. Right, um... We might need to use it. Oh, we got a machine. Can we get a heart out of it? Seven coins. Gives us a few more to goes. Key. Coin back. Um... Again, oh, half a heart. Right. Okay. Ah. Okay. We could. Well, we can't reach those. We get a bomb. We'll remember. Those are there. We'll need two bombs for those. In fact, actually. Oh, I would use the unicorn horn, but I can't get to them to actually kill them with it. So, they can only shoot horizontally and diagonally. So, be careful. They've gone to the other end. They've got better range than me, I think. Kind of curve the shots downwards without getting in his path of fire. Come and sneaky meat. Sneak towards me. You know you want it. Right, okay. Didn't get anything in return. I think we're going to die. I'm calling it. <laughs> I'll try not to, but. Oh, now we can use that. Good. Okay, so we got... It's not much good, really, is it? I mean, do I use the key to come and in, get into the shop? I've only got one coin. Better off using it on the machine. Off a chance we might get something. Nope. Um, carefully we'll cross this room. Okay. Look up this way. Up. Right. Get dodging. See if we stay over this side, we're not as many to contend with. Okay. It is a half heart mentality. I'm back uh, quite a few episodes again ago now when we first. I had to get serious with half a heart. So it's good practice. This is how I should act all the time. <laughs> I, should, I should try and be in a state of constant fear even when I don't need to be. Right, so here's a special room. So if we can finish these guys off without getting hit. Oh, trying to get over this side, yeah knock it back towards the wall and then we've got a bit more space to dodge okay let him pop up good 
Last one. Oh. Phew. Cool, that means we can blow up this as well. Oh, no blue. No blue hearts for once. Okay, attack fly. Might help us out. Oh, we really want those hearts back. Shall we go over to the machine? I think we should. So we've got two coins to try our luck. This room is horrible when you only have half a heart. It's horrible anyway, but you make a slight mistake and you get hurt. It's a bit different to getting killed. And that would be a terrible way to die as well. I can feel all your eyes on me. Knowing that if I died by accidentally walking into a spike. You guys would hate it. And quite rightly. Because it would be very frustrating to watch. Um, okay so no luck again. Sh should we open the shop? See what's in it? I don't think it's worth it. Um, we've only got one bomb. There's of course three bombs over ugh, over in that room. Um, that would be worth getting to before we use our bomb to guess where secret room is. But we've only got one at the moment and we need two. Oof. Okay, I thought that was going to be the end for a second there. I'm sure that's quite amusing. Um, hearing my reaction. Annoyingly can't get to those. Wish we could. So we've got an extra half heart now, so... Hopefully we can build on that a bit. Stand in the corner, they can't get us. Take them out one at a time. Sneaky meats sneaking round. That's why I call them sneaky meats when they sneak around. Try to flank me. Okay. Oh. Surprised I didn't get hit there. I think my um, halo of flies are doing a very good job so far. It's the only explanation I have for my luck. So I forgot they were there, but I think they are doing a good job. So I've come back over here to get these. Three for two offer. Excellent. And then we can use these to guess where the secret room is. Oh, this is a bit annoying. Okay. Nope. I I don't like running around these spikes, so I'm gonna guess the upper room from over here. Oh, it's not that one either. Hopefully it's this one. Yes, okay, what we got? Ah, oh, the noose again. We got that. Was it last game or the game before? This means we can go and get those bombs. That's very good news. So we got some of our bombs back. So... Oh, I hit the TNT. There we go. No point in hiding behind a TNT barrel. Not the best tactic. QQ. QQQ! Stand over a hole, shall we? done. Can't guess us if we're over a hole. Is there melee? Oh, I got hit again. What am I... Oh. Seriously? Really, they shouldn't be able to get me because I'm floating in the air, but oh well. Can't have everything. It'll make the game too easy. So that wasn't great, but we got a heart back, so... Overall, we didn't lose too much, but that really wasn't good form. 
Oh, did you see that? It's a bit fluky, in fact. I wasn't planning on dodging through those just like that. To be honest, I wasn't really looking where I was going. Just got lucky. Okay. Okay, and... There we go. A bomb. So I'm guessing the boss must be over here. We've explored everywhere else. Okay, let's get these TNTs. Didn't quite take him out. Now that one did. There we go. Health up. So we've got an extra container, but nothing to go in it. And this is the boss room here, so... Yeah, we really don't have much luck here. We just go have a sip of tea and think for a moment. So we don't have any hearts. We do have Devil card, which will up our damage, and we have our Unicorn. So we're going to just use both of those, I guess. We've got Chad. So Unicorn first, good good call actually, because he would have instantly hit us there. Oh, and we killed him. Okay, so we save our card for later. Oh, took a hit. So, and this little Chad drops hearts for us when we're lucky, so that's good news. So into the depths. Ooh, lots of... <laughs> cool. Usually you have to think your way through this room, but um, I can just fly around and grab all of the bombs. So that's cool. And get the blue rock. That was nice. These guys aren't scary when I'm not touching the floor. Just have to take them out. Dodge that turret in the middle. Even the rocks don't get in the way when you're flying, it's really cool. So, blue heart, nice. These guys, let's go over and sit on here. Okay, that's one down. Let's move them slightly. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah, it looks like we've fully recovered from our predicament then, and we've got full health, which is good. So we'll try and keep it that way. Not get too damaged. We've got lots of bombs. We've got four keys, which is a decent number. As long as we don't waste them. And we, ha we don't have many coins, so that's our only... Oh, I should have taken the half heart there. Oh, well. There's another damage up. So now we have a big floating head. So it's doing pretty well for damage, I think. And it says it's max. Um, various discussions so far on whether it can go even higher than max. Lots of people are under the impression it can. I think it can a bit. Um, so... So our health is quite good and our damage is quite good. We don't have any kind of special shots going on, but um, yeah. So we've got Bob's head there. I still like the unicorn horn, uh, but we'll bear Bob's head in mind if we need to bomb something. We can save a bomb. I'd like to charge up this unicorn horn for the boss. Are we in depths? No, depths one. I've learned to look down in the corner now, like you all told me. Um, so we're in depths one, so we don't have mum just yet. But anyway, that's the... Um, that's a horn charge, so I'm going to take Bob's head. 
I mean, we could even use it in a fight if we wanted to. There's enough room for the bombs. That's very good. What would be perfect right now is to get some kind of bomb power up, as we've got so many. Like, homing bombs would be really cool right now. Um, and we could use them in combat. I've only got one coin. He's giving us a bomb. Um, I would use Bob's head on this, but can't really get in there. We better save it just in case. Because we might find more coins and then have nothing to do with them. Let's use Bob's head on these guys. Because they're a bit fiddly. It's good to get rid of the form with the next ASAP, which we've done. So, big giant floating Isaac head. We'll go back and get the My Little Unicorn. There isn't any obvious candidates for secret room over there. So we'll have a look around here. It might be around here somewhere. Oh, you're not meant to fire when we're done, cheater. Right. Another slot machine. We'll blow them up once we've cleared the map, just to make sure we don't have any more coins. So I fell into that trap. One of the recent games I recorded today, I think, um, where I blew up the machine and then I had a couple of coins afterwards and <laughs> instantly regretted it. So I think it was in the womb, actually, as well, which wasn't good. Okay. Um, so it's up here. So this is where the shop is. But we still don't have any coins. Half a heart, which we don't actually need. So this is the only candidate I've seen for obvious secret room. Oh, actually, there is one over to the left. I wasn't really, hadn't really noticed that. But it is this one anyway. So now we've got 13 coins. Is it worth using one key to look in the shop? In fact, we could do. Because we could blow up one of those machines. We're likely to get two coins out of it. And on the other hand, if there isn't anything worth getting. We don't really want bombs or keys. We want bombs want to keep them as bombs. Um, anyway, if there is something worth getting in this shop, then we know it's worth blowing up the machine, and if there isn't, then we can use the machine instead. And get some pills or something. So, let's just clear the rest of the map, just, to, just so we know what our final options are. So we might pick up some coins anyway somewhere. This is where the boss room is. It looks like there's still one more room. Below us. Got a blue heart, which is good because I think we took a hit or two there. So it's one more room, these guys can't really hurt us as long as we don't let them touch us. Just quickly take them out. Excellent. Chad's dropped a heart for us there. Let's see what this does. Health up. So we can grab that heart. After all, so no more coins. So we'll go look in the shop. My mouth is really dry. How much more tea do I have? It's another sip. I'm running low on tea. I'm almost more worried about that than anything else in the game. <laughs> okay, so there's a map item which I think we want that. So one of the machines. Let's take the further away one first. We will blow up. So. 
bang. One coin. Not what I was hoping for. So we're gonna have to blow up this one as well, fingers crossed. No coins, just the key. I am not making a happy face right now. I'm making a very annoyed face. Right. Um, oh, I don't think there's any other way to get... Almost might have had more luck if we played a machine after all. But um, but there you go. Shall we grab a, shall we grab a blue heart just to really... <laughs> we might as well. Not sure how many more opportunities we're going to get because we've only got one more level now. So we might as well spend what we've got. I mean, we might not even get a shop on the next stage. We haven't had greed yet, so we might just get greed. Let's use our unicorn horn. Move away, move away. Okay. Still got our cards as well, if we feel like we want a bit more damage, I think. Might be alright though. So we'll save the card for Mum if we can. Oh. Oops. Almost done. So we seem to have lost our blue hearts, unfortunately. We'd have to be extremely skillful to avoid damage on Monstro 2. Eventually. Eventually we'll get to that stage, though. Once I'm really used to him and how he acts. Oh, okay. One more health. So I think that's everything for this level, isn't it? There's a heart over here. Was it just on the ground or something? Wherever it is, we must be able to get it because we can fly. Is there anything worthwhile in the shop? I think it was a tarot card. So I think we'll save those coins. Just on the off chance. So last stage before the first mum. So we'll um I don't know, I think we've got a medium chance. We've got quite a few hearts. And oh, that's half a heart, good. Um, let's see what this does. Bad gas. Um, got quite a few hearts. We've got floating head. Not really sure if floating head helps with mum exactly. We got pretty good damage, as far as I can tell. Got attack fly. We got Chad keeping our health up. So we'll see. Got lots of bombs. Um, they're better to use when they're homing. Got a machine there. I'm going to check this for a secret room. Doesn't look like it. Um, Oh, how are they landing on the hole? It doesn't make sense, does it? They just land wherever you are. More coins. See what special we've got. This is like a force field, isn't it? Maybe that would be better to use than the unicorn horn. Because it's... Um, We're going to do quite a lot of damage anyway. 
and with the mum boss she like you know has the hand sticking out and the foot coming down like occasionally unicorn horns really better for a boss that is just sitting there that you can run into and hit it um there's the last of my tea um So I think I think protection is a better better approach as we're gonna have quite a lot of damage, especially if we use this particular tarot card. Oh this room again. Um so I don't really think damage is gonna be a problem, it's just we'll sort of stay alive and deal as much damage as we can. Um by staying alive. So I think the force field lasts for a decent amount of time or either that or it's based on a certain number of hits. I'm not sure, I haven't used it enough, but we'll find out. Which is another good reason to use it actually, just to experiment. Okay. Oh, it's a shooty thing in the corner. Oh, come on. There we go. Another possibility for secret room. No point hiding on... Hiding on holes with these guys, because they seem to just ignore it. I'm sure they shouldn't, but that's just the way they're coded, it seems. Oh, here's the shop. Okay, cool. Um, fast charging. Meh. Not really very exciting. Um, fast charging would be cooler if we had the unicorn horn. I think I'd almost rather use the coins on the machine. Oh, there's an arcade. Good choice. See if we can get um, the special item from this guy. Parts are good as well. Cool. More hearts. Of course, we are Kane as well, I forget this. Um, so we've got an increased chance with this, with the lucky foot. Cool. Coins. Keys. Oh, this is the item we want, fingers crossed. No, ah. Uh, did we get another chance at winning it, do you think? We'll keep going and find out. More hearts. So that's us fully healed at least. Three more coins to go. Two more, two more bombs. That's our last coin. Okay. So shall we blow these all up? Mind you, is this the right decision? Yeah, what the heck. <laughs> there is a bit more room to explore. Um, but if we get a few more coins, there is a um, 
machine on the way back to... Well, actually, it's not on the way back to the boss, is it? Nothing up there apart from the arena. Maybe we should go and do the arena, though. Bombs are keys. Don't really want that. Um... More coins. So we'll go use that in the other machine. Do I want the unicorn horn or not? Oh, it's a spiky one. Oh, I think it's called pokey. <laughs> the, the spiked block thing, which is quite funny. Pokey. Um, I haven't found the secret room yet, have we? It's out in the middle. Don't want those. Right, one down. Oh, blooming egg. Right, okay. Stand on the rock. Oh, I can't fire out though. Okay. Bombs and coins. Um, I'm going to go back to that machine. Try this though. One up. Useful. So that's where the secret room is. That's that settled. Um, let's use a couple coins on this. And then you do get arcade, you do get, um, oh, I've got another pretty fly, have I got three? Cool. You do get these machines in the womb, so. If I do get a cup, a few coins on the way out, it might not be a complete loss, so. I think we're free to blow this one up. Bad gas. I think the devil is a bit more of a worthwhile item. Though we could use bad gas in the arena. Can't really be bothered. Poison touch is useful against mum because I get hit by her. But at least it poisons her every time I do get hit by her. Jumpy guys. The attack fly is gonna kick some butts. Come on, attack fly. Help us out. I hate these guys. They're so annoying. I think the spiders are gonna be like this in the expansion as well, so spiders are gonna be really annoying. Just the fact I don't think you can hit them when they're in midair at all. Um Okay, so a few more hearts, can't carry them with us, unfortunately. Oh, we can open this, okay. Mini boss, ah, yes, hopefully. This guy often gives us extra blast damage, which is exactly what we want when we've got 31 bombs. What we could really do with that or homing bombs, in fact homing bombs would be even better. Both would be amazing, but um, I don't think we can get both from him, we can't be too greedy. We'll see what we get. Is he going to blow himself up? Almost. Oh, we didn't get either. Just got a couple of bombs. Oh well. Let's open this. Have a heart. Okay, looks like we're ready to go. We got the secret room. 
Um, okay then. We'll use the force field later on. We'll use the card early on. Uh, I've got better damage straight away. I think it will last for the whole fight. Shoot the bits. Oh, move. So watch out for that foot. When we do get hit though, it does poison her at least, so not all is lost. But it's mostly avoidable, so. Just have to watch out for that shadow each time. And shoot what you can when all the time, basically. Attack flies, I think, is actually kicking some ass. Um, luckily, the foot and stuff does actually kill mobs for us as well, which actually makes it a bit easier. So, yeah, knock that one down just in this, as an example. This extra damage seems to be doing the job. Taking a few hits here and there. I think maybe little Chad might be helping us out here and there as well. I might have just not noticed. Seems to be good. We haven't even used the force field yet. Kind of wish I'd kept the unicorn horn now. Kind of wish I'd kept the unicorn horn. Oh well, we can't actually go back and get it now. When you defeat mum, you're trapped in this room. We've got tears up, so that's nice. So, into the room. Time for different music. These guys aren't a problem because we've got floating powers of magicness. So, take these guys out. Okay. Take these guys out. See, we've got three um, pretty flies now. So, small shots, even if they do are meant to hit us, seem to be deflected quite a lot, which is good. I think there are still secret rooms in the womb as well. Yes, that confirms it. Oh, we've got two coins. So we'll try it out on this. So we didn't use any of those bombs in the fight at all. It is tricky though when there's like not really any um Did we is that where we came in? Oh right, that's where we came in then. Um It is tricky though when we don't have homing though to use the bombs. Oh, okay. So I always panic and do the wrong thing with this guy. So, so it's like when you enter a room you expect to start running around and that's not what you want to do with him. I wonder if that is meant to be a direct reference to Tomb Raider then, I wouldn't be surprised. But it is so similar. And it was a really cool idea at the time when Tomb Raider first came out. I remember everyone being really impressed with that idea. So it's so surreal. I think there was something similar with a mirror in the old school Prince of Persia. But I don't think he copied you exactly in the same way that the alien mummy thing in Tomb Raider does. Squealy baby. Right. 
Um, so quite a big map, this one. Keep on going. If I said one hasn't, you know, made more of a lunge for us. Okay, last one. So that's where the boss is. We're in pretty good shape, so we might as well have a look around. At least go and get this heart. I don't know though, actually, maybe we should just go for the boss. I don't think there's anything that spectacular we can pick up, is there? I don't think we get, unless, mm. I better check actually, maybe you do get special rooms in the womb, I can't remember. I don't think you do though actually, I don't think you do. You get these guys though, and these guys are a pain. Right. <laughs> I'm sure they shoot each other or something. They seem to go a bit crazy and then they die randomly. Um, oh wow, look how much damage I took. I really shouldn't have gone exploring. Oh. Let's go take on the boss. So I don't want to end up in a worse state. And I'm pretty confident you can't get... You can get like a arcade in the womb, but that's no good with only one coin. <laughs> you can get in there, maybe blow some stuff up, but what, get coins in return? Not really worth it. Killed this guy a lot faster last time. Was that when we had a whole load of different allies shooting with us? Let's try shooting his tail. Oh, it's not taking any hits. See, now I really wish I'd kept the. Um, the unicorn horn. I think even um, attack fly is actually doing all the work for us. Not sure if we've actually hit him at all. And now we are. Range up, that should help. Shall we have a look around? Mmm, I can't... I don't think we're going to get anything special. Let's move on. Okay, this guy again. Right. Use the key. Come on, use the key. Oh, I don't know why I wasn't using the key. Oh, another one. I know what we can do instead, because I don't want to step on the spikes. We'll do this. Ha! Let's 
split that into two small brains and then we'll be set. Okay. Look over this way. Oh, this room looks a bit busy. Okay, just these guys left. Oh, so these guys can't go under box, so that gives us a slight advantage. They're a bit more mobile than they are. Good stuff. These guys are like pop up turrets, aren't they? Okay. secret room here. Nope. It's a heart? Oh yeah, there is a heart. Nice. Um, oh, this guy. Got two coins to go give us anything? Nope. We'll blow you up if we still don't have anything in the bit. sort these out and then we can go in that corner there we go turn the chub oh I poisoned him oh got another hit not good not good Chad will give us another heart. No? Hmm. Let's go give that coin to the beggar. Nope. What's next? Oh. Sneaky meats. These whack a mole type of things, whatever they are. Oh, pinking sh. Ooh. So, how did I get the pinking shears? shoes was for. Oh, taking way too many hits. Just because I've got full health shouldn't be mean I should act like a complete moron. Right. Not good. So it's in here. Got another heart there. Amongst that. Two Two sloths. Brilliant. Um, where do we even start with two sloths? Can we just escape? Let's escape. They've blown the door open for us. Right. And away from those. Two lusts. This one not so bad. This one straightforward. Let's run away. Shoot them. Simple. They're faster than the old ones, I'm sure. Like powered up versions, and there's two of them. I don't know, actually, maybe Lust is that fast. It is his only um, attack, after all, is being fast. Balls are still very good. Oh, these guys are not nice. Let's keep on moving. Especially when they go for the lunge. Okay. Full health. Cool. Let's take a few more hits first just to make the most of it. Because we're bound to get a bit more damaged. Hopefully we can find the boss room and then take it on our way in. Shall I use some, shall I use some explosives? Is that an idea? Might be. 
they blow up their own maggots is a thing, don't they? Um. It's hard to keep track and just take out one first, really, when it's so fast moving. Okay, and there we go. Hanged man completely useless because that's what we've got all the time. Half a heart, a bit more helpful. This might be a secret room. Nope. I'm going to go all the way back to the beggar. Nice. Something, another heart, good. Nothing? Okay. Um, let's go see what this room along here is. It's probably a dead end. In fact, that should mean I shouldn't bother. Shouldn't. Let's blow open the door. Get out of here. Right. <laughs> so, it looks like over here is where the boss will be. And the card was... Oh yeah, Hanged Man. No point. Full health, definitely more useful. Empty room, that's nice. Hearts, very nice. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this get too hurt by these guys and then we'll be really set right we must be nearly at the boss now it must be in the next off the next room yeah gluttony firing two belly lasers at me double belly laser how dare you you disgust me Double belly lasers. I think you're playing at. Right. So I lost a couple of hearts there. Shall we see if there's anything in here and bomb our way out if we don't want it? Got a chest and a heart. That was worth it. This might be the secret room. Do have one more coin right okay sorry for the wait everyone but i'm going to run all the way back to the beggar and give him my last coin see if he thinks it's worth anything and then once we've done that we're gonna blow him up see if he's got anything else oh he did think it was worth something oh look a half price sale right at the end of the game not really going to be that helpful now. I don't think there's going to be any shops around here. So we've got a force field and full health pill and lots of bombs. So let's do it. So I'll try and take these out. And we've got very high damage as well, which is cool. So bombs are useful for um, getting rid of the extra mobs that we don't really want. We only get two at a time anyway, which is pretty naff really, because, you know, we've got high power and bombs and stuff, two at a time, it's nothing! We ain't got nothing on us. Have it. Loads of bombs. Explosions is my forte. Oh, that looked like a really... Oh, wrong place. 
Oh, yeah, now it stays down. So now, um, how do we do it? So go like that and shoot it towards. Shoot it towards. Boom! You love it. Have it. Right, so we've got no devil option. So, let's see what the third ending is. Something's in the chest. What is it this time? Lucky dip. What we got? Something good? Ooh. A, uh, a nail. Ouch. Ooh. Demon Isaac. Very cool. Right, so... Skip the credits as always. Actually, shall we see what some of those monster names are again? Because they're in here somewhere, aren't they? I think they're quite early on. So, duh, duh, duh. don't have time to read them all this quickly, but um, just for reference, we know that this episode has all the monster names on the end for anyone interested. Seven Deadly Sins. Um. And then I think it just has the bosses that you've had, does it? Maybe not. But we know what their names are anyway, because it tells us. So yeah, we didn't have Loki, so it just gives you all of them. So yeah. And these guys. And Isaac! Except it was Kane this time, they should have Kane instead. Okay, so bag of pennies, so that must be... And the nail. I think bag of pennies must be for completing with Kane, and the nail is obviously the item from the ending. So now, next time we'll try completing it with Judas, and then eventually Eve, although Eve is very tricky to play, because she only gets powerful when you get hurt. So. I will see you all later.